the romances and breakups in 2014, the most scandalous moments of the year, resolutions the stars should make. 9XE The Show is giving away the What The Flop Awards. Hello everybody and welcome to our New Year special on WeChat Presents 9XE The Show. I hope you guys have shopped for your New Year's party, but before the party, let's find out some reasons to celebrate. The time is right to recap the year that was. Sit back, relax, and watch with us a recap of 2014. Year 2014 has been a year of romance. Girl, I like your style. Maybe for a while. Girl, we could work on it. A year when people got high on love. The same stars who leave us starstruck were in fact lovestruck themselves. Let's take a look at the couples who fell prey to Cupid's arrow. The first couple who got shot by the golden arrow was John and Priya. This is how John broke the news and a few hearts. He tweeted, Wishing you and your loved ones a blessed 2014. May this year bring you love, good fortune and joy. Love, John and Priya Abraham. And very subtly, John made it official that Priya Ranchel is now Priya Abraham. Cupid's next target was Aditya Chopra and Rani Mukherjee. Maybe this couple was high on the love drug, otherwise their relationship would have never come out in the open. Aditya and Rani tied the knot on April 21st and finally made their six-year-old relationship official. Our next couple is not shy but still hesitant about officially announcing their relationship. We're talking about Ranveer Singh and Deepika Padukone. Smitten so by the gorgeous Deepika, Ranveer doesn't shy away from making it too obvious that he is dating Deepika. Planting kisses on Deepika is just one of the ways he made the relationship public. These guys were rumored to be dating each other since Ram Leela, and even if they don't make it official, the two are not bothered by the paparazzi, even if they are spending time together off sets. Maybe Aditya Roy Kapoor and Shraddha Kapoor should take some lessons from them. Now, if you do a film called Ashiki, you are bound to fall in love with that person, or at least that was the case with Aditya and Shraddha. With their debut as an on-screen couple, they took their romance off-screen too. But both of them chose to be mum about their love affair. Shraddha recently also traveled to Kashmir to meet Aditya, and Aditya, like a good boyfriend, took time off from shooting Fitor to be with his lady love. Aw, now that is so cute. Another love star couple from the young clan is Siddharth Malhotra and Ali Abad. Alia was spotted visiting Siddharth's house at wee hours. The two try hard to make media appearances separately, even if they have reached the venue together. Now come on guys, don't you know, true love can never be hidden. After all, Virat Kohli and Anushka Sharma too said it out loud, finally. On the sets of Bombay Velvet in Sri Lanka, on the sets of NH10 in Jaisalmer, on the sets of Dil the Dakne Do in Turkey, Virat went everywhere Anushka went. He followed her like Mary's little lamb. Virat and Anushka are seen hanging out with each other. Anushka is seen at various matches. In fact, she is rooting for her love in Australia too. The two are definitely sporty when it comes to making public appearances together. On the other hand, we are still waiting for Ranbir Kapoor and Katrina Kaif to pose for a picture for us. Nine the show broke back-to-back -back news of Ranbir Katrina's relationship developments, and now finally the good news is that the two have moved in together. Cupid struck gold with these couples though, like Kunal Kemu and Soha Ali Khan. The two recently got engaged and will get married around the 25th of January 2015. Kunal and Soha want a simple wedding and that's how it's gonna be, just like Sahil Sangha and Dia Mirza. On the 18th of October 2014, Dia tied the knot with her beau Sahil. 
a simple Arya Samaj wedding is what they had. Now getting married is a major step, but nothing should be too tough for Salman Khan, right? Wrong. Lulia Vanter's present at Salman's sister's Arpita's wedding just made us a little more assured about Salman dating Lulia. Salman's Romanian love interest has never been seen with him publicly, but from the looks of it, it seems the Cupid's magic is working on him. So don't be surprised if you hear the news of him getting married to Lulia. I would say go for it. Salman, this time just go for it. It's all nice and rosy and pink when you're in love, but when it gets ugly, it's dark and black. There were some relationships which faded into darkness in 2014. Once known as the most perfect couple of Bollywood, Ritik and Suzanne ended their relationship this year. On the 1st of November, the two signed the divorce papers and ended their 17-year-long relationship. Breakups are not good, but what does one do when things just aren't working out? Long-term relationships have come to an end this year. The 11-year marriage of Manish Makija and Pooja Bhatt ended in 2014. Pooja announced her separation with Manish on Twitter. She said, To all those who care, and especially those that don't, my husband, Muna, and me have decided to part ways after 11 glorious years of marriage. Another heartbreaking split was that of Harman Boweja and Bipasha Basu. Bipasha has always been open about her relationships and this time too, Harman and Bipasha went all out to announce their relationship status. And then, all of a sudden, boom, we get to know it's all over between them. It was a shocker for most of us and equally shocking was Anura Kashyap and Kalki Kochin split. The two started seeing each other during Dev D. They dated for about three years and then got married. Two years later, for reasons best known to them, they walked away in different directions. Another breakup that shocked us was Dev Patel and Frida Pintos. Dev and Frida fell in love while working on Slumdog Millionaire. Everyone knew about their affair, but this year is when it all ended. And it seems the reason is the growing closeness between Frida and Siddharth Malia. Maybe everyone wants to keep surfing until they click with the right person or is at least the right one according to them. Maybe that's why Arjun Kapoor and Sonakshi Sinha took a break from each other. A memory weeps as we unfold. Even if they did not announce their relationship officially, they made it quite obvious. But for now, the two have decided to press the pause button because of Arjun's commitment issues. We hope they press the play button soon and get going. Patch up, people, come on. We mean if Salman and Shah Rukh Khan can, then anybody can. Yes, this was the biggest news of 2014. The best patch up, maybe the happiest moment of 2014. The fantastic patch up between Salman and Shah Rukh at Arpita's wedding festivities just took us all by a pleasant surprise. The two danced and enjoyed almost throughout the entire wedding ceremony. Now that's being good boys, and the bromance just keeps growing in Bollywood. The perfect example is Arjun Kapoor and Ranveer Singh. The friction between the two began in 2012 when Ranveer was linked to Sonakshi and his then-girlfriend Anushka Sharma got friendly with Arjun. Maybe finding Fanny helped him find the heart to renew his bromance too. Ranveer also recently patched up with Priyanka Chopra. These two had issues while shooting for Gunde. For Priyanka and Ranveer, more than a kiss and makeup, it was a smash and patch up. On Ranveer's birthday, Priyanka was there to party with him and Ranveer posted a picture too. This clearly was a hint that now all is well. Paraniti Chopra made the first move to patch up with Sonam Kapoor. The two did not talk to each other after Sonam dissed Paraniti's style on Coffee with Karan. 
but strangely, it was Karan Johar who became the reason for their patch-up. On the 25th of May this year, the two met each other at Karan's birthday bash and patched up. Karan too had a spat with Kajal because of some personal comments he had made about Kajal. But this year, both of them decided to let bygones be bygones and not just kiss, but even hugged cried, laughed, and made up. The infamous tiff between Ajay Devgan and Shah Rukh Khan also ended this year. The clash between the leads of Jab Tak Hey Jan and Son of Sardar came to an end when Shah Rukh decided to give a warm hug to Ajay while he was shooting for Sing Am 2 early this year. Shah Rukh really wanted this year to be a happy new year, it seems. So there you have it, 2014 has certainly been eventful in terms of relationships. Coming up, how Bollywood broke the internet in 2014. Welcome back to our New Year's special episode of WeChat Presents 9XE The Show. If stars are born and made on the silver screen, they are raised and achieve popularity on social media. It's no big secret that social media is a platform for stars and fans to interact and for the actors to put their personal thoughts out there. This is how social media and Bollywood broke the internet in 2014. Twitter was used to publicize films like, duh, we can make you dance. Ritik Roshan gave his famous friends Bang Bang Dares and they all sportingly accepted. Hyder and Bang Bang that released on the same day tried to prove that there was no competition with each other, each star praising the other through a series of tweets. Bollywood even took up a cause when they each nominated the other for the Ice Bucket Challenge to raise money and even nominated each other to pick up the broom for the Swacha Bharat Abhiyan. Of course, a few decided to sidestep the Ice Bucket Challenge in their own way. The ladies of B-Town ran over Kamel Arkan for his sexist tweet. Way to go, Sonakshi Sinha! The uncle and nephew duo of Mahesh Bhatt and Emran Hashmi locked horns on Twitter over date issues. We later found out that it was just a publicity stunt. Not cool, guys. The fan clubs of Baby and Dolly Ki Dolly attacked each other with great gusto and anybody who said a decent word about the other film, the reason? Both films will release on the same date next year. Whatever. Ali Abad poked fun at herself in a very popular video that went instantly viral. Ranveer Singh endorsed a condom brand and attempted to talk about the taboo topic of sex. Hats off to him. Anushka Sharma's lip job was a talking point for all and some pretty funny comparisons were made too. For what could be one of the first times Salman Khan received flack for this tweet. 2014 also saw the rebirth of Alok Nath, who taught us all some sunscar. A whole host of stars cheered on their sporting teams through Twitter. They even handed out merchandise to their famous friends. After a long wait, Shah Rukh Khan revealed to us son Abram Khan in a tweet on Eid. The cutie looks just like his famous papa. We've spoken enough about this, but it deserves yet another mention. 
And of course, Deepika Padukone took over a section of the media when they tweeted a link to a video of her screaming, Oh my God, Deepika's cleavage show. She fought back and her friends from the film fraternity rallied around her. Later, she also wrote the publication a strong open letter on her Facebook to end all matters. Coming up, our list of resolutions for the stars. Bollywood's year in fashion. And I'm back with our special episode. I have no idea if a resolution made on a New Year's Eve is ever followed, but what if it really is? Let's get dreamy for a bit and see what resolutions our celebs would take for 2015. Shah Rukh Khan, to watch Chak Day and Swa Days again. Maybe then you will realize that India Wale and outside India Wale want you to go beyond what you call the entertainer, Saif Ali Khan, to keep his friendship with Sajid Khan strictly off screen. Hum Shackles played a very important part in destroying Saif's career. Sajid and Saif had a spat after this, but then Saif being Saif couldn't be angry with his buddy for long. Saif, we don't mind you being friends with Sajid, but don't take this friendship on screen ever. If we wanted to see triplets, we might as well gaze into the angelic faces of Farah Khan's kids. Arjun Kapoor, to stop using Salman's name for promotions. Now we all know that Arjun respects Salman a lot, but does that mean he has to talk about him everywhere he goes? With Tevar, Arjun took it to another level. The film had an entire song about Salman. I think you can do better, Arjun. Aditya Roy Kapoor, to not play an alcoholic in your neck. In 2013, Aditya Roy Kapoor drank his way through Ashiki 2 and Ye Juwani Hey Duwani. So maybe he should go easy on the alcohol. Um, on second thoughts, his sober role in Dawat e Ishq did not work. So maybe he should stick to the bottle. Akshay Kumar, to never do away with his salt and pepper look. Akshay Kumar's latest salt and pepper look is to die for. The man is turning hotter with age. He should resolute to not do away with this look. Salman Khan, to do a shirtless film. Salman has always been popular for taking his shirt off in his films, but we want more of it, don't we? Salman Khan's shirtless in an entire movie for sure won't be an overdose. Abhishek Bachchan, to focus less on multi-star films. You can't deny the fact that Abhishek Bachchan is a good actor, but recently we've only been watching him in multi-stars like Doom and Happy New Year. Abhishek, have you forgotten what you did in Guru? We want you back. And of course, our resolution will be to entertain you with every coming episode. And another year is about to end, which means it's time for Bollywood to reflect on all the choices they made and wonder, did I really wear that? The answer is yes, you did. You so did. But that can be a good thing and also a very bad thing. This is 9XE The Show's look at Bollywood's year in fashion. Let's start with the good. The obvious suspect, Sonam Kapoor. Surprise, surprise, it's Sonam, like she would not have made the list. For one of her last appearances of the year, she picked a gorgeous Ellie Saab beaded number. She did a variety of sari drapes like a boss, especially the sari cape from Anna Mikakana. She also owned the androgyny and geek chic looks. Best dressed, like hands down, Ranveer Singh. Ranveer does nothing in small measures and that includes his sense of style. You'll never really see him in a plain black suit. He jazzes it up with flower motifs. But when he does wear a black one, he owns it with attitude. And when he went bald for Baji Ramastani, out came a variety of headgears. And the best among them was when Ranveer rocked this old-timey pilot's cap. Fashionable comeback, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. Aishwarya spent the last few years being the target of those body shaming her and hid behind flowing anarcholis. But not anymore. 2014 saw her step out in a leaner, fitter frame and she picked looks to complement that. It was power dressing for her on her birthday and she even went chic in a Gucci dress and boots. Fashion Evolution Huma Qureshi Huma has had a surprisingly good year fashion-wise. This was the year we saw her fashion evolution. 
from frumpy anarchies and gowns with too many ruffles, she wore more streamlined looks and went a little daredevil too. Wacky and out there looks, Neha Dupia and Nargis Fakri. Neha at most times gets her fashion bang on, but sometimes she goes quirky and it completely works. Like this bright jacket paired with inspirational earrings. Nargis Fakri wore a sexy suit and a top hat and she owned it like nobody's business. A top hat, wow, she looks so cool. What do we do with her? Paraniti Chopra. It's not like Paraniti's looks this year made you cringe, but you just did not know what to do with her. She wore a multitude of looks, but something was always off. Either the fit was not proper, the makeup too loud, or she was just not comfortable in them. And she unknowingly even flashed us and showed us some visible panty lines. Crying out for help, Tiger Shroff. Tiger only has one look. He really, really needs some help with his look. And can the guy grow some stubble, please? We're sure it will help his cause. Overdone trend, crop tops. Everyone, and we mean everyone, was wearing crop tops this year. They wore it with skirts, wide-legged pants, and even wore it with Indian attire. Can we please give this trend a rest next year? Coming up, 9XE's WTF Awards. So, 2014 saw some good films. Highway, Queen, Finding Fanny, Hater, PK, and Ugly. But it also had its fair share of films that left us awestruck. Awestruck because we could not imagine why someone would make such films. And since no one would really honor them, 9XE The Show is willing to do that. Hi guys, I'm Rahul and here on 9XE, we welcome you to the biggest award function of the year. Because it's the year of 2014, we thought that the award is given for cinematic excellence in Bollywood. If you want to know the best actor, best actress, best music and best director, then this place is not for you. We are going to give WTF, or What The Flop Awards. And the first category for the WTF Awards is the WTF Star of the Year. And the nominations are Saif Ali Khan for Happy Ending and Sajid Khan's masterpiece, Hum Shagad. Imran Hashmi for two movies, Raja Natwarlal and the movie that the audience gave a middle finger to. Vipasha Basu for her title role in Creature 3D. Sunny Leone for her only MMS that did not go viral. Jackie Bagnani for India's Oscar entry, Youngistan. I kid you not. And the WTF Star of the Year is... Saif Ali Khan for Happy Ending and Hum Shagad, of course. We have seen three Ram Kapoor, three Ritesh Deshmukh and three Saif Ali Khan after three Sardar Ki Goli Khai. But yet, he didn't have a happy ending. Now, let's get to the third category. Now, let's get to the third category. And the next category is WTF Film of the Year. Now, this category has tried very hard. And the nominations are... The Expose. Himesh Reshamiya trying to act. Action Jackson. Ajay Devgan trying to dance. Entertainment. Akshay Kumar trying to compete with the dog. Jai Ho. Salman Khan trying to salvage a film and failing miserably at it. Ham Shakals. Sajid Khan trying to make a film. <laughs> the WTF film of the year goes to... Ham Shakals, of course. Looks like this film is going to sweep all the WTF awards. Now let's look at the next category. Actually, we do not like making fun of newcomers. Or maybe we do. And the category is WTF Debut of the Year. And the nominations are... Jai Bhanushali for Hate Story 2. Manara for Zid. Daisy Shah for Jai Ho. Arman Jain for Lekar Ham Diwana Dil. Yes, we don't know these people either. And the last nomination is... Maima Malik for Raja Natwarlal. Like we did not have sad debutants here already, we had to import one from across the border. And the winner of the WTF debut of the year goes to... Arman Jain for Lekar Hang Diwana Dil. Now why Arman? Do you really care? And the next category is WTF Dialogue of the Year. 
and the nominations are Ravi Kumar in the expose. Now he actually goes on to say this. Tere sharir mein itna khun nahi hoga jitna Ravi Kumar ek baar mein mood deta hai. Dude, I think you should go and see a doctor. The epic dialogue of Bablu in Hero Panti. Ab kya karu yaar? Sab ko aati nahi, meri jaati nahi. Who writes this? One of the three Ritesh Deshmukhs and one of the three Saif Ali Khans in Hamshakals. Ham pagal nahi hai, hamara dimaag kharaab hai. Of course, this is the film sign ki. And the winner for the WTF Dialogue of the Year goes to... Ravi Kumar aka Himesh Deshramaya in the expose. In case you forgot, hum unhe award de rahe hai kyunki he said... Tere shareen mein jitna khun nahi hoga, utna Ravi Kumar ek baar mein mood deta hai. So these were the WTF awards for 2014. I hope the list is shorter for next year. But I suspect that's not going to happen. I'm Rahul and I'm signing off. So those were the WTF awards. Let's hear it for the winners or losers as is the case. It's also a wrap for the last episode of the year. From 9XE The Show, we wish you a rocking New Year's and do not forget to log on to 9XE.com and our YouTube channel, 9XE The Show. Now go burn the dance floor. I will see you in 2015. Mwah.